Welcome to another episode of How To With Tay, DIY tutorials for your home. Today, we're gonna show you how to do easy updates for your shower. Whether you replace it or reuse it, either way is your decision. I'm just here to help you make an informed one. Today, we're gonna update a shower using $60 worth of materials and a little hard work. But will you replace it or reuse it? We'll see. You need protective enamel, which comes in really basic colors, black, gray, and white. You'll also need a spray of that same color enamel. You need some type of cleaner um, for your shower. You need grout, um, a dark color, um, gray or black. You'll need non-sanded if your joints are one eighth inch or smaller, and you'll need sanded grout if your joints are larger than one eighth inch. You'll need a mixing container, a wooden stir, a paint stir, a paint roller, a putty knife, one small paint brush, a pair of gloves, some painter's tape, and a towel. First thing you're gonna do is clear out your shower. Any hanging thing you have, take it out, put your gloves on, put your cleaner, and we're gonna spray this thing down. So after you've done that initial cleaning, we're gonna take our painter's tape, and we're gonna tape around the spray head and the nozzle, because that's what we're gonna spray paint. This is what your tape job should look like when you're done. Make sure that you leave generous amounts of tape around um, both, both parts as spray paint can get a little messy. As you can see, it's getting a little hot and sweaty in here, but so we've painted the shower head and the knob. But if you've got spray paint on the tile, don't freak out. Get some acetone, nail polish remover, rag, wipe it off. Yeah. We have our shower head and our knob um, spray painted. We're gonna give that a little bit of time to dry and we're gonna mix our grout. Like I said before, if your, um, what's it called? <sighs> I'm like, Stuck. Joints. If your joints are an eighth inch or smaller, you'll get the non-sanded. You're, you're gonna have to measure, get a ruler and measure how wide your joints are. But if they are wider than one eighth, then you will need sanded grout. Um, just note that. So we've got a charcoal color um, to match the black, and then we're gonna paint the the shower base in black. So. We're gonna do white and black, that's what our shower's in. So you're gonna follow the instructions that are on the back of this. It has very pretty pictures, um, you can't go wrong. But what's really helpful when you mix it is buying a mixing container that tells you quarts, pints, ounces, all of that. Because you're gonna need to know pints for this, you're gonna mix three pints of water. So it's helpful that it says it's right on the container. Um, so like I said, I got this from Home Depot, it's maybe $3, and you'll be able to use this again. So your mixing container is really important. You want something that will help you measure, not just a blank uh, bucket. It's kind of be hard. So we're gonna mix our grip. And it's a really good thing we got a five quart mixing container. Because otherwise, all of this would not have fit. So, mix it on the counter. It will wipe right off. No worries if you make a mess. I'm just going to mix it. It says you're supposed to stir it. Following these instructions, it says you're supposed to stir it five minutes. So 
So your arms should be nice and strong by now. Five minutes later of mixing this, um, you should have scooped from the bottom to make sure that you gathered all the water at the bottom and scooped that up and mixed that around. So after you've got it all mixed up, we're gonna wait 10 minutes before we put it on the tile. While we're letting our grout set for 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and take the painter's tape off both the shower, both the shower head and the nozzle. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I'll go ahead and paint the soap dish too. So now is when you'll take your, your nail polish remover, your 100% acetone, and you'll clean the excess spray paint off the tile. Now it doesn't matter if the paint is in the, the grout line, uh, if it's in your joint right here, um, it does matter if it's on the tile. So clean it off the tile and not the joint. So our 10 minutes is up, our grout is ready. And now it's time to install. So what you're gonna do, all these pretty pictures. Now I'm being, I'm being special with my putty knife because I can't find my tile floater knife and I didn't feel like buying a new one. But you want a bigger knife. You want the, the tile float, the grout float, that's what it's called. It's on the back of the box. I'm gonna use this because it's gonna get the job done though. So like I said, you go at a 45 degree angle across the joint and to clean it up you just straight up yep and then you use that same grab another spot that's how you clean it up you use that somewhere else 45 degree angle clean it up so this is after we've completed one section, just laying the initial grout in. We have to leave this for about 20 minutes. Then we'll wipe it off with a damp cloth and you'll see the difference. 